One of the things our lab is involved with is growing the user base of our tools to encompass what I would describe as non-traditional users of these computational tools. This means that we now need to make our software easily usable by people who are not computationally focused. You know, they work in wet labs, they work with microscopes. They're not interested in becoming an amateur system administrator. They don't want to have to compile a bunch of software from source code. We want to make it easy for those people to run our software. So the benefit of containers and virtual machines is we can package up all of the dependencies, all of the different software components together in a single image that's easy for somebody to deploy either on a cloud instance or in their own laboratory on a workstation. One of the things that's great about the GPU computing research community that's evolved over the last 10 years is that many of the early adopters of these technologies have taken great pains to explain the processes that they follow, the experiments that they try, the software development methodologies that have been successful for them. They've written books, you know, at uh, these GPU conferences. Every year there are hundreds of posters and hundreds of talks. NVIDIA and others have archived hundreds or thousands of man years of effort that's already gone into GPU accelerating other applications. Stand on the shoulders of these uh, huge numbers of people that have done this and laid this groundwork and exploit that for their particular uh, research domain. Thank you.